You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for another maker, everybody. I hope you're excited about it, because I am. It is the John Adams Surprise Egg Maker. And, of course, our makers are their most requested thing, so we get to them as quick as possible. They do take the greatest amount of time to actually do the whole video. So we'll see what this one's all about. It says, melt, mold, and wrap your own surprise golden eggs. The kids on the front look pretty excited as the things just shoot out. Now, we're not expecting them to shoot out like that, but... Hide a surprise. There's the one side of the box. Surprise egg maker. Very cool. And then let's uh, turn it to this side of the box and uh, let's see what's going on here. Let's uh, read some of the top here. Safely melt chocolate and pour into the specially designed hollow egg and ball molds. Choose a surprise toy and a secret message to hide inside. Seal together and use the magical wrapper to wrap your chocolate surprise. Ooh, magical wrapper. So melt chocolate, pour and mold eggs and balls, choose a surprise message, pop in the surprise and join the two halves, twist to cut foil, pull down handles to magically wrap in golden foil. Ooh, chocolate not included. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Everything you need in the box except the chocolate. Now this is very similar, well actually same company that did the chocolate coin maker. So let me... Uh, open this box and uh, we'll go from there. Let me just get one of my tools here off to the side and cut. This is a very dull knife by the way. Now uh, first things first, I do like to check everything out. Nicely uh, put the gold foils on the top so it looks like they stayed pretty flat. And then uh, let's see what's going on here. Looks like there's molds inside. That's going to take some doing to get out. And then the kit, the surprises. All right, instructions. Most important are the instructions. I think that's it in the box. There's some cardboard inserts, but there's nothing in those. All right, so it's always a daunting task to kind of see what you have, put it all in perspective. We'll have to come back and check it out. Those are my surprises. Those are neat. Well, here we go. It's time to get started. So let me take everything out of the plastic, wash it, and we'll come back over all the parts and get a better understanding of how this works. All right, here's a little extra bonus video. I don't normally show you this part of the video after the washing. It's all on a tray. It's on a towel. And they said let it air dry. As you can see, there's still water in places. So I'm letting it all air dry, like they said. And uh, when we come back, it should be ready. And we'll get started with the process. All right, it's time to get the ball rolling. And I meant that uh, pun intended, because I do get to make a chocolate egg and a chocolate ball. So let's go over all the pieces now. And we'll just take out what we're not going to need to begin with. This was the greeting sheet, or the little message sheet. So you can read them all. Best mate, love, I love you dream fantastic friend and then there was the gold sheets so we'll have to learn more about those later don't need it right away there's the insides and each one has something inside so when we get to this point we will study each one take a look at those pretty cool and this we definitely do not need this what I found out is uh, an end process you're gonna take this and use this to smooth your foil down so we don't need those right away and then let's see so we'll need the tools we'll leave those out you have these uh, tongs that look like they will grab the egg or the ball a measuring spoon and then like a little scraper cutter tool and then these little clips actually go with the molds now the molds there's an A, B, C, and D so right now I have D out front so you can kind of see there's a D on the top here and a D on the underside. There's also a fill line for chocolate. So you're going to fill the base like this with the chocolate. And then you're going to match up and drop your, at least that's what I think it is, right on top there. And then you're going to use these clips to hold it together. So we actually don't need the molds just yet. So let me move that off to the side. And they're all marked like this one is A. A on top. And then A is marked on 
the bottom there. So the A and the B, of course, are for the egg shape. See, now that's the egg shape. And then you also have the ball shape, okay? So we'll move those out of the way. This is going to be our melter. There's actually two melters. This here you melt when you're putting the two pieces of chocolate together. You want to melt it just a little bit, and this is going to be filled with hot water. And you stick it in there, you melt it, and you join the two halves. At least that's what it says in the instructions. And then this is your main chocolate melter. So you're going to put chocolate in here, hot water in here first, and then the chocolate, and then melt it. So I'm, I'm getting kind of excited, a little nervous about this one. Like the chocolate coin one, there are a lot of steps. And now here is the machine. Don't even know anything about it. I did notice that there's clips to hold things, so we'll have to figure that out. This turns, this folds, this folds, and this has this unique, like, push-up action on the gears in there. And then let's just flip it around and see if we notice anything else. There is the back side. So, it's all new to me. What I need to do now is get ready with the chocolate. I'm going to use a Wilton's chocolate. We've used this before, and it works really good. It worked great with the coin. So, we're going to start that process. I need to get some hot water and get going on making some golden eggs. All right, we're gonna get going on the process. I'm gonna just give you a quick sneak peek at steps one, washing, two, filling up the melting chamber, and three, melting. And then it tells you to go to step five, depending on if you're gonna do the egg or the ball. We're gonna do both, and then all those steps. So it's gonna take some time for me to get through this. I have hot water in here. I'm gonna melt a bunch. I don't even know how many it takes. It doesn't say how many chips to put in there. So I'll just have to keep checking back. It says just make sure it's really smooth. There's no chunks. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm just going to keep breaking this up. I guess, too, if you want to melt it in something else, you can. But this comes with the kit. So that's why I'm going to follow their method, method so I can see how it all works. All right? So we'll check back in a little bit, and we'll see how this is uh, melting. Well, I'm checking back in. It's been probably six, seven, eight minutes to get to this point, and it's definitely not ready for the molds. It needs to be smooth. There's still some chunks in there, so this is the way it was with the coin maker. It took some time, so you have to have patience if you're going to stick to the traditional uh, uh, version based on their instructions, all right? So we'll check back in just a little bit. Do, 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 do. Oop, camera. All right, I am set for my first part. I am doing uh, mold piece A to mold piece A. These are made so that they sit nice, and there's a little line right inside. I'm not sure if you can see the line. Here, I'll put my finger behind it, so it's right there. They say fill it just to that line. So let's go for it. It's nice and smooth. I was stirring really soft, you know, after I broke it up and got it to a nice consistency because they didn't want a lot of bubbles, and they want to make sure you get all... The pieces out so they show you spooning it in so let me do that next now they don't really tell you how much really goes in there or if it's one spoonful so we'll see how much I get from one spoon so here we go seems to me that for kids this really needs to be precise so there's definitely gonna require some adult supervision for the younger younger kids all right, so look at that. So that was most of what I had in that first batch. That looks like that's going to fill it just right. I'm almost to the edge. I am probably a 32nd of an inch off. I'm just going to put a few little drops in there. One little tiny drop. Okay, that looks good. Now that part looks good, so if the table's just off slightly, I think we got it. Okay, now I need to put this inside that. Now these edges, or these out dents here, line up, and then you clip it. And then you actually then put this in your refrigerator or freezer. It gave you two options. 
but keep it flat. So now they show them in all the different um, the little clips in between the sections. Okay, so here is a section. So look at this. See, this needs to just clip down just a little. Okay, and one more here. So if this all works, we're good. So now I need to melt more. So what I'll do is, you've seen the melting process and in other videos. So I'm just gonna keep going here, step by step, melt more chocolate. I gotta add more water in here to heat this up again, I think. And we'll just keep going. Well, here we go, I am set. I have another batch melted. I am going to spoon it into my B mold. This is the B mold. And I have my B insert here. So let me get this out of the way. It's nice and smooth. Been stirring it really slow, making sure that uh, it was smooth, a little few air bubbles as possible. That was about a scoop on the last one, so let's see if that's the same. Because it's a different uh, side of the egg, right? So it's going to take a little bit more because it's the top. And after this, now, it said freezer or refrigerator, depending on which you choose, will determine the time. So, let's take a look. That actually looks pretty good. The line is there. Tap it down a little bit more. Okay, I am happy with that. This one doesn't sit as stable as the other one. So, let's get this in here. Here we go. It doesn't tell you any special pressing technique or any way that you need to do it. Just line up those tabs, then clip it. So it does look like it's filled it pretty good. I'm kind of just pressing these down. Then we'll clip it in. And what I'll do is I'll just give you a quick look at the instructions so you can kind of see where I've been and what I've been reading. Okay, so that is the first half and the second, and the second half, so those need to go in the freezer. I'll show you what they say here for that. Keep them level, that's for sure. It says, uh, carefully, okay, place the inner molds inside the outer molds that contain the chocolate clip into place. If you have used the correct quantity of chocolate, there should be very little or no overflow of excess chocolate. Well, I did, I went right to the line and I still have excess, but it says carefully place each half of the mold onto a flat surface in the freezer. Leave them set for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so ask an adult to empty the water from the melting unit and wash the unit. Remember to ask an adult to refill again with warm water if you're going to make another egg or ball. So I'm going to do that and get ready to set up for a, another one. So I will put new fresh hot water in there and I'll make the ball. So. I'll do some of that on and off camera. All right, we'll check back. All right, I thought this would be a good time. It says uh, step nine was to go over the surprises and see what you get. So let's take a look at what comes with this here. As you can see, they pop open and then there's uh, looks like a toy in this one. So I get to pick it. So here's my instructions. So there's one of them. I know it's a surprise, but uh, I just want to see everything you get with the kit. Here's another little thing you put together with the instructions. Let's see what it is. Looks like a dolphin. All right, so that's another one. Let me move these out of the way. And uh, I was thinking also, you know, maybe I can use white chocolate or other colored chocolates in a future video. Look at that. These are pretty intricate little toys. This looks like a... Formula One race car, open wheel. That's pretty neat. And let's keep going here. Which surprise do I want? This is another, wow, it looks like a train. These are pretty neat and intricate little puzzles. Yes, it's a train. Ooh, what would you want to get? And oh, another one. This looks some kind of like uh, like some kind of uh, robot or something. Yeah, some kind of robot. 
And then, uh, now this chocolate is still melting in the back. Yes, I've stuck with the system. I haven't broken any rules by going to a microwave or a stove. Because I just want to get the whole process. you got to spend probably at least a half an hour or longer to get all the chocolate you're going to need melted for the molds. And then the last one is what looks like another animal. Move it up there. Running out of room here. This is the one I just opened here. And this was, wow, look at all the pieces. Just some kind of little character it looks like. And you can put it together multiple ways on the actual egg itself. This one also uses the actual egg itself. I didn't notice that at first. So you put the pieces onto the egg. This one, no. So you get it now, so I can actually build and clip them on. See that? Those are neat. All right, so I'm going to pack all that up. I'm going to surprise you which one I'm going to put in there. And then again, you can rip off these little messages or greetings and add them in there, it said. So this is all the ones again, showing you again. So at this point, I need to just wait. I've got a, my timer set for the freezer. This is melting pretty good, so we'll check back shortly, and we'll start the, the actual making the chocolate ball. All right, I am back. That was cool seeing the toys that came with the set. They're actually pretty nice looking. Um, so this is Mold C. Ooh, a little bit of water still on Mold C. None inside, though, so let's, uh, let's get going here. And I was hoping that I can get Mold C and D with just what I have in my little uh, melter, but I'm not sure I can, so it seems like about one scoop and a little bit. Now I was going right under that line. See that line there? And it seems like it still overflowed. That's pretty far off the line. Let me scrape a little more in there. I might be able to get both if I do a really good clean up here. That would be nice. I'm still on that first half hour of the ones in the freezer, 20 minutes to a half hour, or it was 40 minutes in the refrigerator. So I'm going to think that that's pretty good. Let's match this up now. And push it down carefully. Okay. like it just needs to go over just slightly. All right, very good. I think I'm going to go for it and attempt to fill the other ones. The last mold, I mean. And right about there. So that's C mold. You can see in there. Hey, C mold, you can see in there. It looks like it covers it really good. Maybe this one will be, maybe this one will take just enough. I think we can do it. Cool. Let me uh, switch some tools around here. I think I might uh, just try to scrape this all out into there. If I'm short, I'll just melt some real quick in here. Right, and there was quite a bit in this, so let's get this scraped out. Ah, it might be just a little bit short. Yep. All right, that's okay. I'll melt a little bit more here, and we'll check right back. All right, well, I ended up uh, cleaning this out, putting the chocolate back in to keep it warm, cleaning it out, and starting over, just because I wanted to make sure that it didn't set up too much before this melted. It does, didn't take too long, because there wasn't as much chocolate in there. I put maybe three or four more uh, melts in there plus what was already in there and what I took from here and transferred back. So it looks like we're pretty good here. And I will take my scoop full. Remember it was about a scoop. And we will uh, get ready to finish this last one here. 
I've been really good to try to hit that line. That's okay because that's going to go up the edge anyway. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to push this last one on, line up my little notches there, push it down, and I need to get these in the freezer. So it's been probably 20 minutes since I put those other ones in. So the process is going good. Still a little nervous here, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how it's going to all work out, but we'll just forge ahead. As always, there you go. Okay, so that is the next set of molds, and uh, we'll check back. These are going in the freezer, and when we come back, I'll have the other ones out of the freezer. All right, here we go. We're all set. These are out of the freezer. They look like they're ready to go. I need to take the inner molds out. That is the next step. Then heat, uh, heat the halves and connect them. And then it should pull out as an egg. So place your time capsule inside one half. Now join the two halves together, taking care to locate the two halves. Then apply clips. Place back in freezer for five to ten minutes. So there's some more steps here, but let's get going here. Okay. Now it looks like I'm going to have to do some trimming because no matter what happened there, it looked like I have a little overrun, but... It's hard to know for sure. They basically said just work it out. And it said unloosen the outer mold by gently pulling away. Looks like it's pretty tough, but okay. So loosen this by gently pulling away, but leave it in there because now I need to heat this area up. See, I thought it was actually going over the edge, it wasn't, it's pretty thick. Okay, so that one's done. Now let's do this next one. Looks like I'm being a little more aggressive here, but not as afraid now. So that is the first, uh, the top half of my egg, it looks like. Now I put my little bowl, you see that, in some warm water because I knew my timing with the video would be a challenge here. So now I need to melt this, get my prize in there. Did anybody go back and see what the blue and the red were? Well, it's not. I might have mixed them up. Okay, so gently peel, gently place the base of the melting cedar on the rim of the molded chocolate. Rotate slightly to melt the chocolate edges. So I need to get the water off of this. Make sure it's dry. And then melt the chocolate edges. All right. It is starting to melt. Look at that. See it? Okay, and do the same with this one. You know, you're just not sure how much it needs to melt, if it's the right. This one seemed to feel better than the other one. All right, then you put in your surprise. And it says, uh, carefully uh, remove from there. Okay, so we got to do that. So now put them back together and clip it. All right, let me just melt this a little bit more here. Okay. Not sure how good of a seal we're going to get, but we'll find out. 
Okay, and clip this back together. All right. So if all this one goes back in the freezer, we'll come back and uh, do the ball now. That's the egg. We'll do the ball. We'll get started on the next one. Okay, here we go. This is C and D now. This is a chocolate ball. So I'm going to unclip it. And the last one I did reclip it. I didn't show that, but I did reclip it before I put it in the freezer. So I'm a little less worried about cracking them. Feel pretty confident that the way it's done, they're pretty solid, but I'll still be somewhat gentle. Okay. Uh, maybe I won't be too gentle. Oh, there we go. Now look how that one filled. You know, for me, it doesn't say it, but I'd probably add more chocolate before I sealed it, just to aid in the sealing of that. It's like a little glue. Now I know you're supposed to use the the melter, but to me it looks like, for safety, I would add more chocolate. But I'd have to melt some. That looks like that one's out and ready. Okay. Okay, that one's out and ready. So let me do that. I'm going to break from the, well, well, let me just see if this melter helps. But if there's not enough there, because it didn't fill correctly or all the way, then this melter won't really help in that area much. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. All right, let me melt some chocolate here and uh, make like a little glue. All right, so I tried a little bit more of this. It just doesn't seem like it melts it correctly. So I am going to, and as you can see, I missed just a little bit. So I am going to add some glue all around my edge, then combine the two. So I'll have a little trimming at the end here, but I'll also have a better seal, right? I can clean this up a little bit, but it is cold, so it's going to react really quick here. So there's no time to wait. There we go. I'll have to worry about clean up later. I'll put this in here. And then I'm just going to add a little bit to this one. Because look, see how it filled? Now I'm kind of just working on the fly here. I don't normally go off the directions, but, you know, I'm sure everybody's going to tell me, you should have done that. Well, I'm going to do it now. Okay. So I'll worry about clean up once they come back out of the freezer. Now I'll clip this together. And uh, the other one's probably been about five minutes. And we won't worry about the cleanup in a second here. I'll just wipe it down. But I want a nice good seal. Well, I won't wipe it down. I'll use my fingers. It's tasty. So we'll freeze this, we come back, I'll have them both ready, and we'll wrap them both and make our golden eggs. Cool. All right, here we go. They have just come out of the freezer. The next step now is to get them out of the, uh, the molds. Clean them up on the outside edge if you want. There's this uh, knife type uh, sharp area there where you can clean up the chocolate. And then the next step would be to put that in the machine, get your foil set. So I'm gonna leave these instructions right there. Let's get this all set here. Let's see, so the egg's gonna go in this section. So let's get the first one out and see what it's all about. This one seemed to work better. Well, that was real easy. Now it's not perfect, there's some gaps around that edge. And they don't want you to touch it, so. Need to get it. Out of the mold. Now that's why they kind of want you to separate it early on, and it did, but now it seems to be working its way back. There we go. So I'm going to do it over this bowl here. Okay, so let's just study that. That one came out pretty good. So they want that inside the chamber. Now, do I want to scrape it a little? I think I do, but I also don't want to ruin it. Let's 
go this way. It's pretty good. It doesn't say you have to. It's hard to hold with these tongs. I guess I'm just worried, like, how much can you handle it? You know, how much can it take? I don't know, since it's my first time doing it. There we go, that looks okay. A little bit here, but I think it's just off aligned just a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just put it in there because this to me is the next exciting step. We'll move this one off to the side. Now it says, let's see, <laughs> lay a sheet of foil. Okay. Then uh, fold back the top here. We're going to have to get a better, much better angle here. Fold back the top. Oh no, I think this goes first, yeah. It says, wait, fold back the lower lid. All right, wasn't paying attention. Then put the foil on top. Then close the lid and lock it. All the way back, yes. Okay, now that's locked. Then it says, um, now cut the foil. Hold the wrapping, uh, wrapping unit firmly with one hand, then push down and twist the purple dial gently. Okay, so hold and twist. Oop, I just felt it cut. A couple times. Now it says lift the lid. Remove the excess foil. Okay, that didn't work out too good. So I'm going to do that again. See, it's kind of cutting in this section up here. I probably could have salvaged that, but... A little more gentle this time. Oh, that's better. So remove the excess. Okay, so remove the excess. Lift the lid to cover the excess, leaving the foil disc in place, and then reclamp the lid. Okay. To wrap your surprise egg, pull down both levers at the sides of the unit at the same time. Egg will raise and burst through the top of the unit, wrapped in golden foil. Ooh. Wrapped in golden foil. So you see it down here, okay, and now it'll appear up here. So the first one will start here. Here we go. And then it says uh, push the handles back using the tongs. Remove the egg from the top. This may need to be pushed through until the unit is used two or three times. Okay, so here we go. All right. And that looks like half of our egg is covered. So now we need to flip it with the tongs. Let's see if I can just gently grab it. Yes, I can. Okay, so now we need to do the other side. Now turn the egg upside down here. Okay, so you see we're getting the process going. This down. We get another piece of foil here. And repeat. I felt like that one moved again also. Not getting a good cut there. Well, that worked out good. Lay it back in here. Okay, now clamp it all down. And now we should have both sides covered after I do this again. How's that perspective? Is that good? See it down there? Okay. And now that's the second time. Now I need these little cups, because that's going to smooth it out. So now turn the egg ball upside down and place back in a small cup and repeat from step uh, 17 to wrap the other half of the egg. And then step 24, it says use the burnishers to rub the foil and tighten the wrapping. Okay. So it looks like it's almost out. Let me push it from the bottom here. So the burnishers... It's 
hard to do with that shape. You almost just want to do it with your fingers. But of course, well that doesn't look too bad, see that? Alright, so this one I would say is done. I'm kind of having a hard time with these shapes. Maybe you just do one. Yeah, it doesn't fit the egg perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna say that one is ready. Let me set that. Let me get the next one out. The next one, remember, I added some extra chocolate, so it's gonna be a little messier. Let's set that one over there. Let's see how messy this one is. Oh, well, that's not too bad. You know, while I'm here, I don't have my other tool handy. Let's just see if I take this one out. See, that one did good. Let me show you that one up close now. See if I hold it, if it's easier to hold this one. But I'm going to pinch it right there. And now see if I can come in and scrape my extra. All the way around. It seems pretty sturdy. Something in me wants to crack it now, but I'm going to wait just to see how sturdy, you know, it is. pretty good. You hear it jingling in there? Okay, so let's get set here. Let me clean up a little bit here and uh, get the next one ready. All right, here we go. This one is ready. I just need to get it in the unit itself. I'm going to say this come out. This so far has been pretty successful, if you ask me. I think they look pretty good. They're sturdy. And we'll know more when I break one. Yes, I have to break them open. So I can show you my prize. So again, now we're just cutting the foil. I was able to save that other one. Remember the first one that I had cut? I flattened it out. So if I really wanted to, I could use that one. So let's put this in. I just want to get the cutting down right. Well, that looked pretty good. I'm going to leave it right in there. Lock this down because it's ready to go. I'll see if we can get an underneath perspective. How's that? So here we go. Very cool. And it seems to me it's easier just to pop it a little through the bottom. So you can see how that one is half covered now. So let me unclip this. I think the next one I am going to... Yeah, let me do this. Let me cut another one. Successful. I want to be careful here that this doesn't push through. So I'm going to tighten that up just a little and put it back in. There's little pieces of foil in here too which I cleaned out from the last time. Alright, so let's get a totally new perspective here, top down as best I can. It's going to take a second here. Alright, I think that's a pretty good angle there. You can see this is kind of like a styrofoam in here and that's why it's giving, making it nice and soft around the foil. So let me do this last one here and see how it works. You see it coming through? Pretty cool. I'll pop it from the bottom. Now this one will work good with those other uh, tools. So let me get a little organized here. We'll wrap this up and check them out in more detail. Okay, so there we are. Now it did say in the instruction too you can use regular foil. Now this does seem like it's going to make a nice 
tighter fit with this particular uh, choco ball. Surprise egg, whatever you want to call it. Well, that does seem to work better than the egg shaped. So there you go. What do you think about that? So those are the two I made. Now I have one off to the side. This is kind of what we can get in the USA. We're not allowed to have the Kinder Eggs here, uh, but this is kind of what has come out on the market. So I just want to compare it to what I just made. Let me get this open. This is one of the Spider-Mans. So that is their Choco Egg. Let's just open theirs first and dissect that. See what's going on with this one. Oh, see, mine was cracked. My shell was cracked. Let's see what you get. Ah, so there's a figure in these. Cut that plastic. There. And by the way, we have about three cases of the Choco eggs, different kinds uh, that we can get here in the States. So we're actually going to do videos with those. So this is what you get. Look at that. Now let's check out my version. Pretty good. Here we go. I get to break my first homemade. Nice. That worked out really good. Good break. Now, I remember, I changed the toy, so you don't know what it's going to be in here, and you don't know the greeting you're going to get. So let's just move that out of the way. And look, this is a nice, thick, thick shell. All right. Aha. So I have a little greeting for you. It says, you're the best. And I put in the Formula One car. Let's just see if we can put some of this together now. Looks like this clips onto this. And then the spoiler clips into the back. Okay. And the front tires. And the back tires. Did I surprise you when I switched the toys? Cool. That's a neat little one. So now this one. I've got to destroy my last egg so you can see what I put in there. So you know, the difference between this version, which a lot of people would think Kinder Egg, is that this is actually stored inside the chocolate, so if someone ate this, they potentially could get hurt here in the USA. Not sure all about it, don't want to get involved with the politics, but this one here, the actual whole item is covered in plastic, so once the chocolate is off, you have to then open that, and there's that rim around there that actually shows a little bit, so you know it's two pieces. Look at that, pretty cool. Now I will break it. Ooh, a surprise. What did LPS Dave put in this one? I put in the dolphin. I wanted to build that. Looked pretty cool. And what does it say? Here's your message. LPS subscribers are friends forever. We'll be here as long as we can. Okay, so now I need to put the left side and right side. But before I do that, it looks like I have to put in, put the two yellows together. All right. And then it looks like it goes this way. Oh, and this little headpiece. Let me see. Wow, I thought I picked one that would be easy to build. Okay, and everything should just clip on. We'll see about that. So what do you think? I'm uh, 
I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm struggling now to put this together, but I think I got most of it. This on the top. There we go. Fun toys. Got them the wrong way. Put them the right way. So what's your general overall feeling? Do you like it? Do you think it's cool? I think having to, you know, adjust my chocolate and seal it did help. And I know how this chocolate tastes, but, you know, it's worth all that effort to give it a bite. It's a nice, thick consistency. A few little air bubbles in there. But overall, mm, it's sweet and good. Look at the mess I made. Well, it's time for me to clean up. So leave in the comments if you like this one. Now, we found this one on eBay, and it's shipped from overseas. So it's not here in the USA. So if you're trying to find it here, it would be rather difficult, just like the coin maker. Overall, I'm really happy with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making this all for you. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.